Hello everyone, hi Dentre. I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Huawei Matebook D16 AMD version in here. This is as a AMD Ryzen 5 and in this model and they do come with a variety of different RAM capacity. They do sell it with a 4, 8 or 16 gig. I believe there's a 32 version too. But people usually go for a 4 gig and they're like, okay, I'll buy the 4 gig and then I'm just gonna go ahead and purchase another 8 gig or 16 gig to upgrade the RAM but that's wrong because you will not be able to upgrade the RAM I get lots of comments asking me why I cannot upgrade the RAM on these models and because of the, all of those requests I'm just gonna open it up and show you why you can't upgrade the RAM in here so you guys can see it by yourself so you don't have to open up your own laptop the RAMs that you the RAM that you purchase, which is 4 gig or 16 gig, you are stuck with those. So before you purchasing, make sure and decide how many which version you want with a 16 or 8 gig RAM. So let's go ahead and open it up and let's see. So first thing you want to power off the laptop and you want to flip it upside down. And you want to grab a screwdriver set. I'm gonna be using a, a iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel bit, that means they will last you many years. Alright, once we are gonna grab a torque number 5 from the screwdriver set. If you get the Pro set, you will get a opening tools and some tweezers, few other two stuff. But if you don't want to get the Pro set, get the simple set. And for the opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick. A guitar picks are very really suitable to opening cases and covers, and their round edges will prevent it from scratching. So these are really handy to have around. So what are we gonna do down here? We're gonna remove all the screws at the bottom of the laptop, go all around and remove all of them. Don't worry, all the screws are the same size and height, so you don't have to worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and start from one corner and remove them and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out to inform you or upgrade or service, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. So I can take more requests, answer your questions in the comment area. All right, then. once we remove all the screws, to re oh, it's kind of slippery. To remove the bottom cover, you're not gonna stick the guitar pick in between here. That's really hard to get into. We're gonna start at the back, right where the bottom case is. You wanna go up, right down underneath and you wanna stick it right in there. Find a way to stick it right in there about one or two millimeters inside. Has to slip between the uh, both of the gaps. And you wanna just flip it inward. Do that every one or two centimeters. And you wanna hear a tiny clicks. That's what you wanna hear. Okay, once you did that, now you can see the corners are actually coming out. Now it's easier to stick the guitar pick right in there. So what do you want to do? You want to stick the guitar pick there and just twist it outward and you want to see the case coming out. And you want to hit clicks, that's fine. You want to go all around to the corner, front corner, to the left and right side. You stick it there, you're going to hear a few clicks, that's what you want to hear. Once you do to the front corner, the front side automatically pops out. If it doesn't, just keep doing it the front end too and then lift up the bottom casing. And there you have the fan and the whole system in here. And right away you're gonna realize that the RAMs are not available in here. The RAMs should look like something like this. And there is no RAM dim or RAM jack or anything to place in here. There's a, nothing, absolutely. Under this tape there will be nothing, absolutely. I can rip it up. There, there's nothing. In some versions, they have a GPU installed in here, but here's a foam right here, so there's no GPU. And the RAM, there is not at all a space to put a RAM right under the motherboard. So there's not even a millimeter space in there. So the RAM chips are, actually you can see them there here under this aluminum seat, right on the motherboard. They are soldered, one, two, three, four blocks, five blocks, RAM chips soldered on the motherboard. So there you have it. So we're gonna put this tape right over this tape is so if you go to look through here you don't see the whole ugly heat sink, so it looks kinda nice. 
And there you have it. So now you can see why you cannot add any RAM. You put the cover back on, just grab the bottom case, set it right on top, and push the corners really hard. Make sure you hit that click, the mid back, all of them. You want to pinch them together. And the last thing down here will be to put the bottom screws on the cover. Remember the screws, they don't have any orientation or different sizes. Just go ahead and put them in. Also, if you guys have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks to thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.